that there are serious health and safety concerns from exposure to respirable crystalline silica or RCS dust and this comes from kitchen or bathroom bench tops. These kitchen and bathroom bench tops are made of engineered stone and they've become increasingly popular in New Zealand. Our concern is about accelerated silicosis which is the health issue that can be acquired from inhaling the RCS dust. This particular health issue is different for us in New Zealand. It has a shorter latency period. So this means that exposure can be as little as one to 10 years to working with this dust. RCS dust is created when materials are cut, grinded, uh, sanded, polished, or otherwise disturbed. And the dust particles are extremely small and not usually uh, visible to the naked eye. Silica content in engineered stone is 90% silica, which is much higher than naturally occurring stone. There are over 100 confirmed cases of silicosis in Queensland, Australia, um, and this number continues to grow. The vast majority of these cases have occurred um, in workers where there are no symptoms of disease. The aggressiveness of accelerated silicosis is usually attributed to the high concentration of silica and this is one of the reasons why there is a shorter exposure time before workers become ill. The most effective way to manage uh, exposure to this dust in the workplace is to eliminate it. We would uh, encourage the appropriate uh, controls to be used. This might include uh, wet cutting or extraction mechanisms. If you can't remove the risk, it may be that you need to look at ways that you could substitute it and manage the risk in other ways. All businesses must provide their workers with information and training on managing the risks. We would encourage all businesses to discuss and share ideas with their workers so that the best solutions are reached. This may include use of personal and protective equipment or PPE. The type of breathing protection chosen uh, will vary according to the job and the concentration of the RCS dust. It will also be really important to ensure that all breathing protection is properly fit tested. If you need help managing the risks of respirable crystalline silica in your workplace, then please go online and look at the HAZANS, that's the Health and Safety Association of New Zealand Register, where you'll be able to find competent and appropriately trained personnel to help. We've got lots of information on our WorkSafe website where you can find a detailed safety alert which contains information on health monitoring, exposure monitoring and guidance. And this is uh, available too in multiple languages. All you need to do is go to our WorkSafe homepage and search for silica. Our inspectors have been uh, assessing the various workplaces that are using respirable crystalline silica, wanting to ensure that workers and businesses are well aware of the risks and have the right control and protection mechanisms in place. We're working with medical and health and safety professionals from across New Zealand to ensure a coordinated response for workers who are at high risk of exposure to dust from engineered stone. We encourage anyone with concerns about accelerated silicosis to go to our WorkSafe website and record their details so that we can keep you updated with information as it becomes available. Thank you.